Hi YouTube, we are the Cubing Brothers and we're going to show you how to sol solve the gear ball today. <laughs> I almost forgot where we were going for that. Well, let's get right to it. Oh man. Okay, I am sorry, YouTube, that I was just trying to set up my camera and I, I thought I pressed the pause button. Okay, as you can see, there's something wrong with my gear ball. Well, there isn't something wrong. I have taken off the purple tiles and because, you know, I've uh, um, so they used yellow, but no white. I don't, I don't get it. They should have used white. But when I took them off, they really, it just really looked cool. So I just kept it off. So now, every single time I, uh, I, you see a black piece, you should remember that's your purple piece. Okay, well, let's get right into the solving. Okay, I'm going to scramble it and then come back to you. Okay, it is now scrambled. And, well, let's go. So, I usually start... What am I talking about? This isn't a Rubik's Cube. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I thought I bombed it. I just thought I was solving the Rubik's Cube. Okay. So we don't start with the side. We start with all the corners. Okay. So to get the corners, it's just pretty, pretty intuitive to me. Like, just look. If you want these yellow corners on here, you turn the front. And then, oh, I think that's pretty easy. Just turn the right layer. Alright, see, now you got the yellows. And the greens. Let's see, now you got these. Now you just twist the front face. And they're on. And then oranges. And that's all the corners. What the heck? Oh man, I just got so lucky. How did I get this lucky? Usually this is, oh my gosh, this has never happened to me. Usually this will never happen. And I've already solved it. So I'm going to scramble it again and show you. Okay, that was just really weird. I mean, if that happens again, I'm not I'm not taping it again. Okay. So as I told you, just it's pretty, it's pretty intuitive. You just I mean, there's nothing really to show you how to do. And now, the first step is finished. Okay, well, now, we, we are on the second step, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to start with the red side. You, you look around, and you see that this edge is red and yellow. And the corners that it's, or, no, the centers that it's in between are orange and yet red. This is red and yellow, not red and orange. So we need this to go there and then this orange and red to go in between orange and red centers. Okay? So to switch those, you have to hold them on the top 
right up here. Okay, and do this algorithm. R2 U R2 U And now they've been switched. Now they won't always be oriented like this. They might be like oh never mind. Okay, see so now you find some more edges that need to switch. These two need to switch. Now you do R2. U. R2. U. And now they're switched. Now you look for any more if you have any more. Doesn't look like I have any more. Okay, so the third step is to orient these edges. Now you can see right here, here's a perfect example. As as you know if you subscribe to my channel, I'm blue, I'm missing the blue center. Okay. So you want this blue by the blue center and this yellow by the yellow center. So actually there is a secret to this. If you already have one slice right here uh, oriented and you just hold it in the standing slice so it is around it's around it okay and then you do this algorithm if you have any if you don't have the correctly oriented slice then you it doesn't matter how you hold it but you still do the same algorithm. You do R U R U R U and after you do that, if you don't have the standing slice like I had, then you will have the standing slice and you just do exactly what I did. Okay, now this is the easiest step. Alright, so you want to look at the gears. Alright, I look at the right side. Alright, so look at the right side of it. And is the gear facing up or down? Okay, so in this case it's facing up. So you do R4. And now the slice is solved. Okay. Okay, now you do the same. You look at this. Look at the right half of it, okay? So, is this gear, is the right side facing down or up? Well, you can see that it's facing down. So you do r prime four times okay so r four prime okay after you do that it should be solved ah do you see my gear ball is a little loose right now because i unscrewed that and screwed back in But this is in an unsolvable state. So all you have to do is twist it back in. And now you have a solved gear ball.